I remember the Father's Day after Lisa and my mother passed away. Um, I just had a, a sort of a vision in my mind of them waving to me from a field and So I was hopeful, hopeful that they were, you know, telling me everything was okay. She would have continued to be this most beautiful mother. It's what I really miss most. When I'm the one that's there for all the important firsts, all the little things, the first when, when she'd lose a tooth, when she got a kitten for Christmas, all of, when, when she was doing the long jump on field day, this, this amazing grin on her face that was so much like Lisa's. It's an amazing grin because she cleared it a good three feet farther than anybody else, including the boys all these moments that should be Lisa's. I still remember that picture that I took of her on a, a merry-go-round when she was about two or three years old with the blonde hair and uh, blue eyes and big smile and the blue dress and kind of going up like that. I saw her holding her daughter and, and knowing that at that moment she was feeling that, that part of her soul come alive that, that you, can't, you can't feel till, till you're there. You can't explain it to anybody. And she had it. I'm so grateful she had that moment. She was a wonderful mother. Her, her world revolved around her daughter.